Yeah, it was um, a little bit of a surprise, I guess, with the, the moving pieces that happened over the summer, but um, obviously taking some time to reflect on um, the teammates that we had and, and had moved on and retired and, and whatnot, I think um, it's something that I, I take with enormous pride, you know, because you know, I, I have put in a lot of, you know, um, hard work and and into into this, and I think it's a it's a special place and um, you know a community that that I love and the broader San Antonio community. So I love it, um, and I'm going to use that to the the most of my advantage to try and help um, you know the new guys, the young guys understand what it's um, all about um, being a San Antonio Spur. Do you feel like you're in doing that? You're following a tradition, you know, sure. again with David and then Tim and then Manu. And Definitely. You know. um, I've always felt like I was the bridge between um, the next um, change of tides, and I guess that that has come. So to be able to um, pass that on, I guess everything that I've learned from on the court, obviously uh, in the locker room and 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 off the court, uh, away from the floor, I think. And we've got a group this year that um, already seems like it's it's a it's a team that can bond well chemistry wise um, obviously it's it's early days but um, that's the op opportunity that that lies ahead for us so I'm excited about it. I know other guy other guys are excited about it but it's something that um, you know obviously the, the whole city of San Antonio can be pumped and and, and and excited about what's what's new to come yeah I know you're gonna miss Manu but especially on the road right uh, oh, and, yeah. yeah all, all around yeah. um, you know obviously one of, if not the closest friend that I've had um, in, in the NBA. Um, and, you know, obviously uh, a lot of big shoes to, to fill in, in his absence. And um, although I haven't necessarily felt his absence just yet, um, I think that time will come and, and I'll take time to, to reflect on, on what he's been able to do for my career, both on and off the, off the floor. Um, and, and as I said, take that all those learning lessons that I have had from him and, and pass it on to the to the young and, and new guys. But he's been an absolute um, perfect role model for me. And I wish that every young kid in in, in all of sports, um, you know, had a role model as close as as mine has been for me. So really um, grateful and, and lucky that I've had the opportunity to to be his teammate and. I think the, the best thing that I've, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for and blessed for is that you know, I'm able to call him a friend for life and I think that's the most important thing we can take about playing this sport. Did you cry? Uh, I haven't yet, like I said, but um, it's, one of those, it's one of those moments. Um, like I said, I haven't felt his absence just yet. You know, obviously him still being around uh, here in the gym and um, you know, going out to lunches, but um, yeah, that time will probably come. Yeah, Marco <laughs> fills that role though, because you and him was tight, yo. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. And Mono and Marco. Yeah, for sure. Uh, though, but but Mano's done a lot for my for my career um, in, in in many um, you know aspects of of being a professional player, um, and it's something that you'd never think that you'd learn being in this environment. But um, you know, he, he he's definitely been close, and the reason why you know. Whatever player and person I am, he's been a big part of it for the last seven seasons. So, um, got a lot to owe him. And Patty, what, what is it besides the playing? Obviously, the technical side of the game. What are the qualities that Manu has that that, that, that drew you to him? That, that, that he became such a good friend. What, what, what was it? What is it about him? No, just his his genuine um, concern and and want to learn about his teammates, um, and especially for new and young guys, being able to. You know, take them under his wing and 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 want them to to be successful as as much as they can be. You know, and 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 he cares. He cares about his teammates and and, and wants them. You know, this is obviously um, a, a business that involves a lot of money, and there are a lot of you know sharks out there. So to be able to understand and learn from lessons that him and other people have had, and 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 make sure that you know try as best as I guess he can to make sure that doesn't happen to him. So. Um, you know, he, he cares a lot about his teammates and, and making sure that, that you know, they grow up in this environment the right way. What do you expect to see from Rudy Gay this season, one year further removed from that devastating injury that he had? Yeah, just, just being um, more comfortable in, in this all-round system, on the floor and off the floor, and, and knowing what 
everyone expects from him. Um, he's still obviously a, a hell of a player, that goes without saying, and, and athletic. Um, I, I think he's going to be huge for us. But I think having a year under, under his belt in this, in this system, and obviously we've got some um, changes to, to make, and we'll see how, how, how that all unfolds. But I think regardless of any change, you know, I think he's going to be able to be um, just a bit more comfortable in his own shoes and, and be able to play his own game, which um, obviously he loves. You were a guy that's gone into a season before having had surgery and not being fully ready to go. Like he, it was a different surgery, but like, yeah. like he was. When you had that with the shoulder, did it take you a while to trust everything again and to kind of get your group back? Or? Um, well, I, I got a vivid memory of my first game back just before Christmas, I think, diving on the floor and getting yelled at by, <laughs> by Pop, you know, not allowed to do that ever again. But um, I, I didn't have any trust issues. I mean, I went through my rehab program. Uh, very carefully and um, you know being out on the floor I was ready to go but I, I can understand how you can be cautious for sure and, and making sure you don't want to re-injure something you know we've heard devastating stories of that throughout the throughout the NBA so like I said he he's uh, had a great summer by the sounds of things I caught up with him a little bit throughout the summer and um, um, and, and obviously now so so a year under his belt um, just defining his his role once we get to our first game and uh, I really think he's going to be great for us. Pat, Patty, how different is it, uh, we talked to Rudy about that yesterday, about how different it is to come out here and have to worry about a player that's not here, is he going to play, and, and how, see, I don't, t uh, uh, camp is tough, but the fact that it's a little, little more light, the mood seems to be lighter out here, do you feel that, that just way, just to, yeah, it, know, it's a it's a, a mindset that everyone is is learning. You know, it's it's a different mindset that we've had in the past with training camps. You know, um, where it's it's back to basics. It's back to learning each other, I guess, because you know everyone's relatively new. So, um, but 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 the mood and the mindset is is different. You know, we've got some guys that are coming in that have never won a championship before. Guys coming off. Um, injuries and, 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 and want to win so that burning desire of a, of a winning feeling and sensation I think lightens that mood because everyone wants to be involved everyone wants to be on the same page and, and, and learn from obviously everyone that, that's been here and the coaching staff so that's exciting when, when you know obviously seeing a few training camps now and you see guys come in, come in with that mentality um, it, it's, it's exciting as, as a teammate for sure. Do you think your role will be more defined or will it still be kind of a jack of all trades where you can you know, play backup point or, or you know, start at point. Yeah, need it or, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. I think at the moment you just try to um, roll the ball out and, and see what works, but to be open to, I guess, being a, a jack of all trades um, or, or being flexible in, in that sense, I think is, is the most important thing. Um, nothing's really defined as yet. This is day two, but as we you know, go down the road, we'll define them a bit more. But, um, you know, that, that's more than happy for me to, to be flexible and then understand how I can impact the team while, um, or the game while, you know, making sure everyone else is okay as well. But you get back to your normal role though, right? Is there some comfort there too? What's that? The, Which role? Your role coming off the bench and being that spark. Yeah. Last year you were in and out of lineup. And yeah. Now uh, you know what you're, you get back to your uh, normal spot. I, I think it's, I think it's all relatively different because of who's coming and who we don't have anymore for certain, certain things, you know, just being on the floor, whether it's being a, a vocal leader now that I think we'll need that more than we've ever had before, not having uh, Tony and, and, and Manu in that essence. So I, I don't know, to be honest, we'll, 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 we'll wait to see how that all unfolds. But, um, you know, wh whether it's a comfortable thing or not, I think, you know, my, my hand's going to be put up to be um, a leader and, and, and a vocal leader and make sure that we're all on the same page at every aspect of, of the game to make sure we, we move forward together. I think that's the most important thing.